What's up everybody? Good morning. It's Sunday, February 3rd, so you know what that is. Super Bowl Sunday. There's a lot to do today. We have some festivities later with some of our friends, my wife, uh, my children and I. So um, I have a, that makes for a busy day for me. I have to get an early start. It's about 7 a.m. I'm here at the gym ready to get a push workout in. I have to um, head to the office around 11, work until at least 5, um, and then head back home to enjoy some time with my wife and the kids and some of our friends for the Super Bowl. So I'm gonna get this push workout in and I will check in with y'all later. Whew, all right, push workout done, feeling good. Uh, lasted about 40 minutes on the weightlifting, did another 20, 25 minutes of cardio on the treadmill afterwards. Normally I don't mix the two, but today I just felt like running. So I got on the treadmill, got it in. Um, you know, one of the things I love about the ketogenic diet is my stamina lasts forever. I can go set to set to set, exercise to exercise without feeling like I need a big rest break, which really helps keep the heart rate up, burn some extra fat while we're lifting some weights. Um, I'm gonna head home, spend some time with the girls before I have to start getting ready uh, for work, and I'll check in with you in a bit. What's up, everybody? I'm back. Um, my wife and the kids just ran out for a little bit, so I have some time to come to you before I have to start getting ready for work. So I wanted to talk a little bit about um, goals, why it's important to have them, and you know, little tips you can you can do to stick to them. So obviously, goals are important um, in any facet of life, whether it's work, home, diet, lifestyle, fitness. You know, we're fresh into the new year, so a lot of people have have fitness goals that they're trying to stick to. Um, I found personally that it's easiest to stick to these goals through setting. Uh, short-term goals with the big picture in mind. So if, if your end, end result is I want to lose 50 pounds, then you need to set weekly goals on how you can get to that 50 pound mark. Um, and not just I'm gonna lose 10 pounds a week for five weeks, it needs to be these are the activities I'm gonna do to produce, produce the results that I'm striving for. So for example, if it's Right now, you're not physically active. If you need to get physically active for three days a week and see how that um, fits into your schedule and what impact that has on the results you're looking for, then, then that's a step you need to take and you need to, to document your journey um, day by day, week by week, whatever it is that helps keep you committed to the process. So, um, you know, I, again, I came to the ketogenic di diet um, through chance, I guess, just doing some research on, on ways to lose weight. And two years ago, this wasn't as popular as it is now, but I dug up some information and, and dove in head first um, and haven't looked back since. So that, that initial change, um, one, got me eating better and feeling better, which led to me losing a, about 20 pounds in the first couple months. Um, it got some pressure off my knee joints, which I had suffered ACL injuries um, very uh, recently before starting the ketogenic way of eating. Um, after that weight loss, uh, I noticed that as I continued on with the diet, my appetite began to, to wane. Uh, it really became hard to eat one, sometimes two meals a day. I was probably getting twelve to 1,500 calories in a day for, for months on end. So. Over the last um, two months, I'd say, I've really started uh, reverse dieting and forcing myself to eat at least two or three times a day, most of the time still two times a day, but really getting in some calorie-dense food um, and, and trying to get my calories above 2,000 calories. You know, I'm in the gym three days a week, a push day, a pull day, and a leg day, and I'm mixing in cardio once, maybe twice a week, um, so with that, um, I think it's important to try to maintain um, some, some valuable caloric intake and eat some calorie dense food to help keep my, my calories up and my energy up in the gym. Again, I'm not very hungry all the time. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. I've already worked out this morning. I haven't eaten yet. I'm sipping on some black coffee. Um, and I probably won't feel my appetite kick in until at least 2 p.m., even though I've eaten or I've worked out already today. So I have to consciously, consciously tell myself to eat sometimes, which, you know, again, if you're trying to lose weight, 
Um, the ketogenic diet, because of its satiety influence is in hormone regulation, is great for doing that. So for me, my new goal now is with this reverse dieting, I'm trying to get my metabolism back up to a point uh, where it'll allow me to drop some body fat and I'll be ready for the springtime, just like a lot of people trying to get your beach body ready. Um, that's what I'm working towards now. So to do that, again, two months ago, I started reverse dieting. I've got to stay consistent in the gym on my three days a week and get a day or two of cardio in um, to get there. But I'm trying to shed about maybe 10 pounds. I'm about 175, 76 pounds now, and I'm around uh, 13, 14% body fat. I'd like to see that number in the single digits. Uh, for me, I think my week to week goal is to maybe drop a pound a week um, until I get there. And, and again, you know, it's not always about the scale for me. The scale is one way to measure it, but at the same time, I'm looking in the mirror, I'm checking my progress. I can visibly see changes as they happen, which, you know, without carbs in my, in my system, it's very easy to see changes quickly. Um, if I want to manipulate my body, I can probably, you know, fast a day and then, and results happen almost immediately. It, it's, it's crazy to see how without insulin in your, in your bloodstream, um, your body will utilize fat quickly. So that's what I'm on now. Um, it's going to be a long progress. I've joined the, the Keto Cut community on Facebook. So shout out to Logan Delgado for setting that up. Goody Beats. Um, I'm, I'm part of that community. I've taken on this personal challenge with a friend of mine who I've known. I'm 33. I've known him since I was five years old. So 28 years now we've been friends. Um, he's not on keto. He's still doing his thing with, with the rice and the chicken breast and broccoli, hoping that uh, long term he can find success in some weight loss while ma maintaining some strength. So um, that's a challenge him and I have set up with each other too. We've given ourselves until probably March, um, sometime in March, before we really measure progress. Um, but we keep each other honest, we keep fighting together. So uh, I found it easier to stay consistent when I have somebody pushing me, I have a community behind me pushing me, whether um, you know they reach out to me personally or not, I know I'm part of that community, I know the goals that everybody in that community is looking for, and I wanna be a part of that success with the team. So. That keeps me motivated, that keeps me driving. You ha all have to find something that motivates you personally to keep you on the straight and narrow towards your success and to finish your goals. Again, set short-term goals with the big picture in mind. You have to have a long-term picture and short-term success measures that you know step-by-step -step will get you to where you want to be. So. Um, you know, set those goals, give them a try. If after a month you don't see the results you're looking for and it's not working, then rethink what you can do in the short term to, um, you know, week after week consistently see the results you want to see for the, for the success of your big picture. Um, if you have any questions or if I can help in any way, with those goals or and with that short term um, progress, then please leave comments and let me know. Um, so I talked a little bit about what I'm on right now. I wanna hear from you all. Please leave messages below. Let's get after it together. Let's have some success in 2019. Uh, the keto cut is on at least until April. Um, I wanna hear your story. So please leave your comments. I'll respond. I'll answer as best I can if you have any questions. And I look forward to, to talking to you all soon. Thanks.